Well, where are we going to go today with the remember whens? There's so many of them. Again, here I am driving around in my car and what am I thinking about? I've been going by some corner stores lately and uh, the first thing I think about and uh, you know we all get ideas in our head from things. Um, I'm looking at these corner stores with the old signage because I'm sure all you guys got a couple of them out there and I'm thinking to myself I wonder what they got up in their attic. You know? Maybe I'm getting it from that show American Pickers. I don't know. I do watch that show. There you go. You to learn a little something about me again. I like American Pickers. I think those guys are pretty down to earth. And at the end of the day, I love seeing the stuff they're involved in. And they seem to be getting more into the automotive world these days. So it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, but anyway, where I was going with that is, you know, these stores, they get display units and stuff like that. And they probably just throw it up in the, up in the rafters, up in the attic, right? Or maybe in the basement if they got one. So it kind of makes me think the other day when I was out driving around, I thought, I wonder if they got any old signage up there. But then I started thinking just even past that. And I stopped for a minute and I looked at the old sign and it said 7-Up. And it was right from like the early 60s. It was outside. It said 7-Up. I, I can't even remember the name of the market now. It was called something anyway. Uh, and and uh, I just thought to myself, where have all the normal corner stores gone? Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me, down where I'm living in the lower mainland, it, it, you know, it's taken over, right? They got run out by the chain businesses. I mean, you got Chevron out there that puts in stores, which I'm not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I mean, when you go to a service station, it's nice. You can grab a pop, a chocolate bar, whatever you want. But unfortunately, you know, they, they carry everything, you know, from, from lottery to just everything. I mean, fuck, you can Christmas shop there if you want to. And it's kind of pushed the little guy out. It's kind of pushed out the ma and pa. So you don't see the corner stores too often. And I just remember when I was growing up seeing all the corner stores and how cool. I mean, when I was growing up within within a, a couple mile radius of, for myself, and of course I had my little pedal bike so I could go to any one I wanted to. There was like three of them. And you just went to a different one, like different ones each time because they all, being run by different families, they all had different stuff they brought in. You know what I mean? So they had different five cent candies from what the other store would have. And it was just, I don't know, I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just totally lost here. Maybe I'm crazy here. But I just think there's something cool about a little corner store compared to your normal AM, PM, your 7-Eleven, your Max, all that. There's just something about these little corner stores that just gives you that feeling when you walk in. Um, I don't know. It's just fun. It's, you know, it's the old five and dime stores, right? There you go. You guys remember this shit? I know you do. Uh, yeah. What do you Americans call it? You call it Americana. I don't know what us Canadians call it. <laughs> I really don't. I think we use the same word even though we're not American. <laughs> Sorry, we're taking that one from you, so there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, oh, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's, maybe it's, uh, I find lately as, uh, especially, especially more this year, I don't know what it is. I find I'm trying, I, I find I'm starting to seclude myself more and more all the time. Um, I'm doing a lot of building and renovating around my home here. Uh, I'm building, um, I'm having a deck built right now and it's all mid-century modern. If you guys know what I mean by mid-century modern, look it up. It's like, you know, like early 60s, maybe late 50s, but more early 60s. It's all that, just that neat stuff that they had back then. I don't know how to explain it. Um, my deck right now, I put a cantered lever on it. So it's, like, it's kind of like a ship's railing. It goes out rather than your normal straight up railing on a deck. Mine goes out with a nice big two by six on top so you can lean over, have your beers set up. You know, on the other side, I put like this box thing um, throughout the whole thing. It would be like lattice, but it's not. It's different boxes, all different scattered. Uh, my basement is going total 50s. Tiki bar, 50s living room, 50s kitchen, 50s bathroom. And then I'm starting to do the upstairs a little bit. Now I've left the upstairs right now. You're probably, uh, you know, I mean, I spend most of my time upstairs when I am in the house. And uh, I'm not doing upstairs at the moment just because I have a large dog. And uh, yes, his name's Bondo. And he creates quite a mess, bigger mess than I do. So um, I'm just holding off a little bit there. Uh, I don't want to have all my real good stuff in there. Such a large dog. I know, um, you know. So uh, that's what's going on there. But uh, anyway, we're getting back to the corner store thing here. I, I think I'm just, I think I'm just, remember whens are, are, are just such a good time. I don't, 
Some of you younger guys, if you're out there watching, I know a couple of you have written in and you've been like, my grandpa told me these stories and I'm living these days, man. And they're writing into me, telling me they're in their like mid twenties. And hey, thumbs up to you guys. Somebody needs to keep this alive. Somebody needs to keep it going. There always has to be somebody to, to, to carry it on. You know, I mean, some people out there look at us and say we're crazy. You're living in the past, man. You're living in the past, man. Get out of here. Go smoke a joint. Go away. You know, <laughs> they're all law. You know, they think we're crazy, but we're not. It was when we grew up. It was just things that we remember. And uh, unfortunately for myself, though, I didn't grow up in the 50s, not even the 60s. But I'm lost in that time period. I guess I, you would call me an old, an old soul is what you'd call me because I can't. I mean, I was growing up in the 80s and... Uh, I mean, fuck all I remember out of the 80s, so let's not even go there. But, <clears throat> at least, I, <coughs> excuse me, at least I caught on to the tail end of it. But yeah, so today was about the corner stores. I just miss them. I don't know where they've gone. They've disappeared. They've been pushed out by all the big high marketing stores. And uh, next time you see a corner store, if it's still open, you know, go support them. Um, I know the Americans got a lot more than we do. So again, for, for my other friends out there, the US friends and, and wherever else you guys might think, Rick, do you remember when videos, we still have this stuff. We don't in Canada. We don't. Um, I don't know. We got trees and animals. <laughs> that's what we got. And uh, yeah, so I, I don't know. That's where I'm going with it. I just don't know where they've gone. I miss them a lot. They were so cool. They were just awesome. And I'm just, I'm just babbling on now. Wasn't a very good remember when video, or maybe it was. I don't know. You tell me. At the end of the day, it is what it is. Living in the past. Okay, guys, remember it's always a good time and old time. And we'll see you next time. Big thumbs up.